Traveling the world with Steph and Jamie. No trip to Thunder Bay is complete without eating a... Persian. So Persians are these sort of like uh, yeasty cinnamon buns. They have a fruit covered icing. They are famous everywhere in Thunder Bay. Um, they were first invented in the city in 1949. Um, since then, every local bakery has sort of developed its own version. Uh, restaurants make uh, Persian lattes and Persian cheesecakes and, you know, uh, Persian flavors is a very Thunder Bay sort of flavor. Um, but one of our favorite Persians comes from here at the Current River Bakery. Um, it's a, a traditional Finnish bakery. They make coffee breads and all kinds of things like that. They have uh, a Finnish grocery selection. It's a really great place. But they don't just make Persians. They also make cookies. So we're going to go get some of those right now. Terry Fox Memorial and Lookout. There's also a visitor center where you can get some information on Thunder Bay and the surrounding area, but it's really just a great place to stop and take a rest, whether you're driving on the Trans Canada, you know, heading all the way to British Columbia, or you're just in the region looking for somewhere to get outside and enjoy a snack. Um, we here have some uh, cookies and some Persians from the Current River Bakery, and we're going to take a minute and just enjoy those snacks before we head down to the monument and check that out. Behind us is the Terry Fox Monument. It is a nine foot bronze statue on a base of a locally harvested amethyst. Um, it's here in this particular site because just 13 kilometers east of here, Terry Fox was forced to stop his run. If you are in the area, you should definitely come and check it out. The, it's a really special place and a good place to stop and reflect. And there's also some little uh, like eye things that you can look and see the sleeping mm, giant. Absolutely, yeah, like a, a viewfinder where you can look and see the harbor. They call it the Terry Fox Memorial and Lookout because there's a beautiful scenic lookout here as well. So it's one of the best views of the sleeping giant in the city. Just outside the front doors of the visitor center, something that most people don't know about here. If you head to the left, there's a walking path that you can take your dog for a walk. You can just sort of stretch your legs if you've been in the car for a while. And uh, you can say that you hit the walking path behind the Terry Fox Visitor Center. Let's go. So this is a really nice path. Most people don't know about it and I think you should come check it out. Here we are at Kekabaka Falls. It is the what? Niagara of the North. Absolutely. It plunges 40 meters down the rock face. What's the name of this river? The Kaministiqua River. And how do you spell that? Literally. This place is pretty amazing. Um, you can get so close to the falls you can feel the mist on your face. This is a must stop on a Thunder Bay trip. Kekabeka Falls means butter tarts. Let's do it. So part of the reason that Thunder Bay exists in the first place is that it was the headquarters of the fur trade. Here at Fort William Historical Park, they have an almost exact replica of the original fort where you can come in and experience life as a fur trader for yourself. This is a Canadian signature experience and definitely one of the coolest attractions in Thunder Bay. Let's go check it out. It's not open yet. Right. 
So it's not open for the season yet, but it will open soon and we will definitely go in there and make a whole video about the fort. Stay tuned for that. Traveling the world with Steph and Jamie.